American capitalism is exemplified in the ex-president. It's free enterprise versus government. And we need more. Now, we need more. Hip-hop artist and activist Yasin Bey sees it far differently. It's not about streaming. That's not mm -hmm. the problem, right? Mm -hmm. It's about, you mean to tell me that the source of labor at the, cent at the center of this experience is supposed to be satisfied and grateful with receiving a portion of a penny for their efforts and labor. Now, whoever is else is happy with that, then that's you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can take your labor to the market however you see fit. But when it relates to something that I'm doing and that I've been doing, I don't have to ask you permission. I don't have to get your understanding. Mm -hmm. and, I, and if I'm ambivalent, or like, I don't know, somebody just don't feel right and I'm, I'm searching for a better way to do it, that's mm -hmm. completely my volition. I support our law enforcement by ensuring that they are fully funded. A tale as old as time. Keep writing blank checks to precincts across America, baby, meanwhile. So I mentioned to the uh, colonel there that this, this German cell was broken up this week. And I read the story. What? I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, the, you have to admit that there are people who do want to kill Americans. Yeah, some of them are, call, are called the police. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, but that's uh, it. I mean, like... Intertwines the war on terror many cling to and his real-life experiences as a black man in this country. America is not a racist country. A laughable, idiotic thing, as Bay put in his rhymes. Um, okay. And the actions reveal how their hearts really feel like late night I'm on a first class flight. The only brother in sight to flight the tendon to catch fright. I sit down in my seat to see she approached officially talking about excuse me. Her lips curl up into a tight space cause she don't believe that I'm in the right place. Show up my board and pass and she saw the gas on the barrels put an extra lime on my water glass. Uh, an hour later here she come by walking past. I hate to be a pest but my son will love your autograph. Yeah that's pretty funny. It's based on actual experiences but you know it's really interesting. It's a quote from a, from a childhood friend of mine. It says, black, it's white, it's money. It's all unequal. The adjectives can never be nouns. We are the people. If I know what your genealogy is or where you're from, I know something about you, mm -hmm. but I don't know you. Mm -hmm. And I can't pretend to know a person just because I know something about them or reduce them to just like a set of like, scientific uh, responses. And it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, someone's skin color, it's like people saying, they you know, people with acne are bad people. Or like, you know, or people, you know, it's just, it's so bizarro, um, but it's, it predominates in the way that so many things are done. There's endless reasons to play black on both sides. Let this song be one of them tonight. The big thing that was there was the weapon of mass destruction. Who could forget? This was the lie we were sold by the likes of Donald Rumsfeld. When the, the Revolutionary War was going on, George Washington and all them dudes was terrorists as far yes, as the Queen I, was concerned. Right. So it's like, it's a, you know, it's a difference, a fine line between what's legal and what's fair and decent and, you know, just on the universal sense. I'm, but you don't want to get blown up by a bomb. I don't think I'm going to get blown up. Listen, I'm black in America. I live under constant pressure. I don't believe in that boogeyman s**t. They ain't doing I, you know, I don't believe in that s**t. Well, if somebody want to do some shit to you, it ain't, they doing it. They ain't talking about it, sending you tapes. I'm gonna f you up when I see you. <laughs> Bay mock the Warhawks, and rightfully so. Jews will not replace us! And even chided with these clowns. We're human beings, you know? I mean, it seems like being a racist is really uh, labor-intensive and just kind of draining, you know what I mean? <laughs> not, draining? Not, yeah, not very rewarding. Uh, I don't see a lot of joyous racists, you know what I'm saying? Or like, hey, let's go hate today. <laughs> it's just, they're not very... Even, even when they have the tiki torches, they don't yeah, seem Yeah, they just really don't seem like they're generally uplifted. having a yeah. really good time. Yeah. Um, well, you know, they say that's the difference between if you're ever at the 
like at the hardware store, mm. if someone's getting like four tiki torches, mm. that's a dinner party. <laughs> but if they're, you see them buying like 20 tiki torches, that's like an anti-Semitic, anti-black oh, yeah, hate yeah, yeah, rally. Yeah, yeah. They're sad, they're just sad. That's how you know, only. if it's too many. It's too many torches. <laughs> What are you guys up to? <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing later? Don't forget this dude's role either. In my judgment, President Bush is right to be concerned about Saddam Hussein's relentless pursuit of weapons of mass destruction. He is preaching at this point. The way that, that, that this government has pursued its foreign interests has been mur meddlesome, murderously meddlesome. I hate people's creeds. It's, it's up, people believe what the hell they want to believe. That's up to okay. them. I I'm believe as I believe, and it's my right as an American. The same way that Paul Robeson, when he got brought up in front of the Senate and they said, are you a communist? He said, yes, I am, because it's my right as an American to be. Right. I could be whatever I want. I could be a but, girl if I but, wanted to. <laughs> I just, but I don't choose that. <laughs> no, no, you're I'm just choosing to be me, and it's okay. The free market that I just described has never existed. It is a figment of the imagination of people. It is also a wildly utopian image. We don't have that. Every market that I have ever studied, whether it's ancient Greece right up to the present, is full of regulations. The notion that we can have a market without regulations is refuted by the fact that every time a market has been created as the way to distribute goods, it has immediately had so many bad effects that regulations had to be brought in to counter them. Richard Wolff, my guy, has been blowing the whistle on this for decades still. I don't like the way that the labor exchange is happening around it. And why yeah. wouldn't I? What type of Frankenstein, Bugs Bunny, motherfucking math these niggas <laughs> talk about? I'm supposed to get part of a fucking penny? <laughs> Who looked at a fucking penny and decided it could be broken up into parts <laughs> to be needed out to the people central to the fucking labor? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? This is some continuation of the same type of shit that you was talking about with mm -hmm. the... The pact. Yeah, the continuation mm -hmm. of the... Uh, the, 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 the Continuation of colonization. That's All right. of this shit is a colonial hangover. All of their mathematics is similar. Mm -hmm. It's like you work for us, you don't work at all. Yasin Bey, the artist, and those who work that are not CEOs, executives, and board members are pawns in their game. And on someone like this former presidential candidate, but we also have to have an organized effort against gangs. Just as in a previous generation, we had an organized effort against the mob. We need to take these people on. They are often connected to big drug cartels. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. And the he sees it in his own hilarious way. Hillary Clinton is just another form of dynasty to me. It's they passing the presidency around like a party joint. It goes from the Bushes, the Clintons, to the Bushes. <laughs> first things first, before we jump into it, if you can, become a channel member to support what we are doing here. After all, our content is free. And or go to tyt.com slash join. If there are any stories we missed or any that y'all would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. Appreciate everybody watching, tuning in, and for your submissions. I have been listening to Yasin Bey for what feels like almost 20 years. And to see a evolution and yet staying on a consistent, albeit narrow plane of things that should be broadened, human rights, equality, equity, seeing how we are all connected, seeing how we are all human, and these different systems that are put in place to take advantage of, marginalize, oppress, so some could be propped up and others could be bumped down further. His message has remained the same throughout all this time, and we should be applauding those people. We should be applauding those who didn't sell out. We should be applauding those who will stand up for the atrocities that have taken place under this empire that is the United States of America. And to see this man get pushed out over and over again and be treated as a kook has been troubling. Are there things that he said that I disagree with? Sure, but 
the overall mantra, how he carries himself, what's he, what he puts into his rhymes, what he puts into each album, what he's put into Black Star, the people that he has worked with, it has been consistent. And it has been for all the right things that many who simply want to dumb down the entire industry hates. They hate him because of the way that he carries himself, because of what he is saying, because of how he is shining the largest flashlight on all of these propellers that are having one thing and one thing only. And that is to make us lesser. So I say this, and I doubt he's watching this. I am a huge supporter of what you do. And I have been a fan for a long time. And the only thing I would say is keep on doing your thing. Because we will be watching and we will be listening. Thank you for watching this clip. And have a great day.